Um, I don't think um, kidney disease is taken seriously in the UK because it's, in some ways, it's a hidden disease. I dialyze four hours and five minutes, three days a week, but taking on board the travel time, the time that you get on the machine and time that you come off the machine and get home, it's about 16 hours um, a week. It's a necessity for their life. There are different sort of side effects while on dialysis, they either way they can feel that they're having cramps and when we're taking loads of fluid, blood pressure drop, feeling unwell after dialysis. When they get home, they feel really like rough or they done like a marathon. Unfortunately, with renal failure, the, some of the main issues are the fact that you do have to adhere to fluid restrictions and a diet. So it's sort of around about 500 mils or to a litre a day, really. When my transplant failed, I, I grieved. I grieved because there is, there's so much that I wanted to do. Um, I grieved not being a mother because I knew the reality of going back on dialysis, what that would mean. Um, I grieved my freedom. Um, I grieved traveling because it's not as easy when you're on dialysis. Dialysis treatment affects every aspect of a patient's life. Their life, but the lives of the people around them. So their families and their friends, their intimate relationships. They have to adjust and change so quickly that often they're just in, totally overwhelmed by the demands that renal treatment makes of them. It's a very tough treatment, very tough treatment indeed. Their mental health suffers. Yes, I, I, I had diabetes before kidney disease, probably 10, 12 years maybe. Because my sister was on dialysis before she died. And my parents are kind of reliving the whole journey again. So it's been tough on them and tough on me because I, I kind of keep things from them a lot. I don't tell them how I feel. My children, it affects them, my anxiety. I've got a young family, I've had to stop work. <clears throat> you know, yeah, financially, it's really hard. Um, but you just have to get on with what you've got, really. Well, for me, our renal patient is like a family. It's, it's a heartache for us, especially we see them for how many years and years and years. You, when you come back, where is this patient? Oh, he's gone. Just living day to day, waiting for your next session. Yeah, no, it'd be, it'd be massive if you could just click your fingers and stop, stop all this, yeah. I just don't want to end up at 70, 80, coming here every other day. I just have to keep cancelling it out of my mind, otherwise it will upset me, so. More research would be more helpful in terms of dealing with renal patients in terms of dialysis. I think it's still quite a limited understanding around the condition and there's lots of improvements that could be made to make it easier for patients.